In this video, we would discuss about the Linux package management with the RPM tool. Here, we would see how to manage the .RPM packages using the RPM tool. We will also discuss about the drawback of this RPM tool. And also, we would see the use cases of RPM tool. In the diagram, we have a repository where the RPM packages will be stored. If we want to install and configure these RPM packages, we will download the RPM packages to the VM and then we will install and configure the packages. In this video, we will only use the RPM tool for managing these packages. We will not use other tools like M, DNF, etc. We will discuss about them in the later videos. So let us start. So now I have logged into a Linux terminal with root user. So now let us try to install, upgrade and perform other operations using RPM command. So for this video, I will take an example package corresponding to corn shell. So I will try to install the corn shell using RPM command. So for that, we need to download the RPM file corresponding to corn shell. So here I am using CentOS version. So for that, I need to download the RPM file corresponding to KSH. So let me do that. So now we have got some links here. So now I am using this RPM find.net for finding the RPM file. So let me click it. So here we have different links for different versions of KSH. So I need to choose CentOS 7. So I am searching for CentOS 7 here. So here I have two links. So let me choose this one. I will download using wget command. So now the RPM file is downloaded. So now let us install this using RPM command. So for that I will use RPM. So for installing, I need to provide the option icon I. Then I need to specify the file name. So let us enter now. So now it is installed with a warning. So if you want to see more information about this command, then we need to provide iPhone V option. So it is saying that the package is already installed now. So now the installation is completed. Let us try to upgrade this package with a new version. So for that I will download the latest version of this. So I will choose this link now. I will download this package. So now we have two versions. Let me check here. So this is the latest version now. To update the package, we need to use iPhone new option. So for that, I will use iPhone new here. So now the upgrade is completed. So now we have seen how to install and upgrade an RPM file using RPM command. But when we install or upgrade, what exactly happens in the background? So basically, RPM file contains the required scripts, the binary files, and the configuration files, and the documentation, metadata, etc. So when we install or upgrade, all these files will be placed in the respective directories in the Linux file system. So the information about all these files will be stored inside an RPM database. So that will be under slash where lib RPM. So this is an important directory which will act like a database for RPM tool. That means when we install, upgrade or delete any RPM packages, then this database will be updated. So these are all the database files of RPM database. So these files are very important and we should not modify any of these files manually. We can also query this database for the required information. So now let us send some queries to this database for the required information like configuration files, the files which are installed, etc. as part of the package installation or upgrade. So for that we need to use RPM with iPhone Q option. So this will send the required queries. So if you want to see all the files which are installed or upgraded as part of KSH package, we can give iPhone L here and then we need to provide the package name. So here I am providing the KSH. So these are all the files which are installed as part of the KSH RPM file. And if you want to see the configuration files, then we have to provide iPhone C option. So these are the configuration files which are installed or upgraded as part of the KSH package. And also if you want to get the package information, then we can provide iPhone I option here. So now we can see the information about KSH package. So here we can see what is the version, release, architecture, everything. We can also do other operations like deleting the package. So for deleting the package, we have to provide iPhone E option. For that I will use RPM command and then I need to provide the option iPhone E. 
So now we need to mention the package name. So I'm mentioning ASH here. So let us execute this. So the package is removed. So now let us try to find the information about KSH package again. So now it is saying that the package is not installed because we have removed it. So this way RPM tool or command will be used to install, upgrade, search and remove the RPM packages. So now let us see what is the drawback of this RPM tool. For this I will try to install HTTPD package using RPM command. So let us try to download the HTTPD package. So let me click on the first link again. So here I will try to find the package for CentOS 7. So let me try to download this package. So let us try to download using wget. So now we have downloaded the HTTPD package. So let us verify that. So I'll try to install this using rpm command. So for that I will use rpm again. Ipen I V and the package. So now when we try to install this, it is giving an error called failed dependencies. So generally whenever we install any rpm package, if it has some dependencies, then rpm tool cannot download those directly. So in that case, the rpm install command will fail with failed dependencies. So to make this successful, so we have to download these things manually, then we have to install HTTPD again. So this is the main drawback of this RPM command. It cannot install the dependencies directly. We have to download them manually one by one and then we have to install them to make the main package installation successful. So to overcome this drawback, so we can use other tools like yum, dnf, etc. So we will see how to manage the packages using yum tool in the next video. So then what are the uses of rpm command? So using rpm command, we can query the rpm database for all the required information like for what are the scripts installed, what are the commands installed and what is the information about a particular package etc. So in this video we have seen how to manage the dot rpm packages using rpm tool and also we have seen what is the drawback of rpm command and the usage of rpm command for getting the required information about RPM packages by querying the RPM database. I hope this video will help you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.